Hello everyone, Sophia here. Unfortunately, Chris has got a problem with his audio equipment, so today I will be covering the new 09931 experimental build that came out earlier this week. This update is our first look into the upcoming 099 update and features a large array of new features that focus primarily around the creation of a new medic role. <laughs> Let's start with the largest change to gameplay that is coming with this update that will affect us all. And that is the creation of the unconscious state. After this update, if you are shot in non-vital areas, instead of dying, you will instead be downed. In this downed state, the screen will appear dark, while in this state you cannot attack. However, it does seem like you can heal yourself. Just that I personally don't know how that works. This new state can be toggled on or off in the GM settings or can be toggled for individual units if you so want to as a GM. While on this state, you will also have a lower passive regeneration. This lower passive regen also applies for players with a lower blood level. But if you are in a down state and lack the proper supplies to heal yourself, what then? Well, that is where the new usability to the medic role comes in. Medics can inspect the player's injuries, which will tell the player the general trend of what player's health with information, such as if they are on a positive trend or if they are bleeding from major injuries. This inspection can also be done to non-downed players if it seems necessary. But now that you know what your teammates' injuries are, what can you do? Well, the update features several items to try and treat the damages and keep the soldiers on the battlefield longer. First is a tourniquet. This medical equipment can be applied onto a limb to reduce its bleeding. However, it comes at the cost of lowering mobility for that limb, which may cause issues on the battlefield. Next, we have a saline drip. This can be administered to a player who experienced major bleeding, either due to injuries or the duration of their condition not being treated. This drip will maintain blood pressure levels, allowing to fix the lasting damage caused due to the injuries. Following that, we have morphine. The shot can be administered after major incapacitating injury, with the goal of speeding up recovery for that soldier. And finally, we have bandages, which pretty much operate under a similar role as they did prior being able to stop the bleeding of a wound. However, if you have multiple wounds, it will only patch one of them. With this added complexity of different medical situations, a specified medic holds much combat importance in being able to deploy and help administer the required care to keep the line healthy. However, what if a soldier's condition is particularly dire or complex, or if lots of soldiers are in a position that is about to be pushed by the enemy line? Well, the new ambulances are the solution. These new vehicles can be used to transport medical supplies to the front lines supplying the medics. It also allows them to have wounded soldiers board in the back, who can then be evacuated to a safer position, allowing for them to be healed with proper treatment. It's also useful in allowing wounded soldiers a break while the treatment administered kicks in and heals them. There are three new ambulances, two American, one regular and one with a camo decal, also one Soviet. So, while you're riding around in these ambulances, you may notice some changes to the functionality of vehicles. As with this update, they got some changes. First up, vehicles are now client-based in a process called Authoritative Vehicles. They went really in-depth into how this works in a post. In the short term, it seems like it just means that vehicles will be more responsive from a player perspective with the drawback of being harder to put anti-cheat on and harder for it to work in a tandem with a server. Vehicles also got a change to how they interact with water. Wasn't able to demonstrate, but they likely added hydroplaning. If anyone is able to understand what they changed, let me know in the comments below. Finally, the first person camera is now tilted down in vehicles to better show the dashboard, which is just a nice quality of life change. Outside of these major changes, there was a metric ton of changes to modding, scripting, entities, and a ton of bug fixes that I won't go into today for the sake of your time. But if you're curious, I'll have a link to the full article below. In tiny changes, they added a new pistol cap for the US. It's a lot like what the FIA already had, so it's nice to see it with the US, so now they don't have to loot one to look cool. 
They also changed how deployment looks, which in my opinion looks a lot more polished and well done. I will show that off now. Finally, the last thing that I noticed that they added was this career page thing, which seems for the moment to be slightly bugged as upon initially opening it, I got the screen for a couple of frames before it stated that I don't have any activity on my account, which isn't true. So overall, I think this update is pretty cool. The addition of medical, as well as refinement of healing, new vehicles, as well as a ton of bug fixes. All around, great update. I still think it would have been preferable if instead of a giant update like this, the individual pieces got put into the experimental build over the last month, so we had something from them activity-wise. But I certainly think I'll be playing as a medic in the near future, cause it is quite fun. But this has been Christopher Beast, aka Sophia right now. If you'd like to join Discord to talk about the update, Chris's Discord VSL is linked below. But that's all I've really got for y'all today. Bye-bye.